Back on August 9th, the development studio Modern Storyteller released a long-anticipated game, The Forgotten City, a time-looping mystery adventure game where you, an archaeologist, becomes trapped in an ancient Roman city due to some kind of Midas curse. Specifically referred to as the Golden Rule, if any person in the city commits a sin, then everyone in the city will be turned to gold and die. What makes this interesting, however, is that no one actually knows what does and does not count as a sin. Neither Roman law nor our own moral compass as players will align perfectly with the rules of the curse. But understanding this rule, and deftly manipulating it, is the only way to solve the mystery of this city and return home. The Forgotten City is a one among a trend of time loop mystery adventure games that seem to be dominating games culture for fall of 2021, other prominent titles being Annapurna Interactive's new game 12 Minutes and the Deathloop by Arcane Studios, developers of the immersive sim Prey. What has set the Forgotten City apart, however, is that this game began its life as a mod for the Elder Scrolls Skyrim. The mod of the same name won multiple awards for the quality of its writing and gameplay. The developers were encouraged to turn the mod into a standalone game, but of course one cannot simply publish and sell a game that uses the assets and intellectual property of another company, Bethesda Game Studios. It was necessary to translate the mod into an original IP, thus the change in the setting to a Roman city. This decision was a stroke of genius. The mythological groundwork for the Elder Scrolls lore is almost exclusively pulled from Roman culture. For example, both the Elder Scrolls and Roman cosmology are based on the Aristotelian model of the cosmos, describing the universe as being made of spheres, and stars are holes in the spheres that allow light to pass through. Returning something made in an Elder Scrolls game back to the cultural inspirations is the perfect decision. In listening and reading people discussing this game, it did not take long before I would hear about the Skyrim influence being easily noticed. The way that characters look and move, the general layout of the map. However, inevitably, the second indicator that people point to is the conversation zoom, by which I mean whenever you talk to an NPC, the camera will zoom in on the person's head while you choose your dialogue options. However, and here's the reason for this writing, Skyrim never did that. Skyrim conversations always kept the camera attached to the player's own perspective. Whether in first person or in third person, the camera did not slide so as to bring attention to one particular speaker, and this was necessary given that multiple scenes in the main story involved responding to different characters in scenes with many people. What these fans are actually remembering is the conversations of the Elder Scrolls Oblivion, which had such extreme zooms into NPC faces that it became a core cultural meme for Elder Scrolls fans. Now we fans of the Elder Scrolls and Fallout are not accustomed to seeing other games have presentation styles similar to Bethesda games. Perhaps this is why so many people are misremembering. The Forgotten City feels like a Bethesda game, so we remember other things that feel like Bethesda and mash them together. It is rather funny that this mistake has repeated itself across games journalism. I am convinced that when The Elder Scrolls VI eventually comes out, this brand new Mandela effect surrounding Conversation Zoom is going to become even more prominent. Thank you for watching, subscribe to the channel, and consider buying my books. I hope you have a great day. Stay true.